What's up, all? JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. Okay, so LeBron James Halloween photos come out. It's Halloween party. Uh, you got up on your screen right now 3 1 lead with the skeleton above it, and then you also got Steph Curry and Clay Thompson 2015 16 tombstones. Now, very creative, LeBron. You outdid yourself this time, buddy. You did. You did. Okay, that, that's amazing. That is crazy. First off, I want to address the counter argument. A lot of you are going to say, you, you're a salty Warriors fan. He can do what he wants. Let him have fun. Oh, you're going to criticize him on this? You criticize LeBron on everything. Oh, you just, you just hate LeBron. Nope. Don't hate anybody. I strongly dislike this. I'm going to tell you why. Let me address one more counter argument. Draymond Green, yep, yep, you know what I'm talking about. 2015 interview after the uh, parade ceremony. Splash Brothers, yep. <laughs> Cavaliers, nope. We won, yeah. I think that was stupid what he did, honestly. Honestly. If you win, don't win with pride. Win with humility. And that's the thing I've differed with LeBron his whole career about. LeBron James is a prideful winner, and he's a sore loser. This is the reason why I like Stephen Curry. After the 2015 Finals, did you hear anything from Steph? I didn't hear anything from Steph. If you did, give me the inside info. You obviously are an insider. I'm not. So, after 2015 Finals, I didn't hear anything from Steph. He's a humble superstar. Oh, but on the court, oh, he dances around after his threes. On the court, man, this is his passion, this is his life, this is what he's trained to do. Let him do what he wants on the court. I ain't got no problem. If you want to go on the court, if you want to beat your chest on the court like KG, if you want to put on the Mamba face like Kobe, if you want to give the stare like LeBron on the court, do it. You're on the court. Let your emotions go, but I, afterwards, be a humble winner. Yeah, we know you came back from 3-1. Yeah, we know. Your play does the talking for you, LeBron. Why you got to do this? LeBron, his whole career... Prideful winner, sore loser. Here's the example. 2011 Finals. It was before one of the games in Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki has a very high fever. He's very sick, and he's still playing this game. Oh, did y'all hear me call? I think I'm sick. Hey, this weather, man. That 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 right there That's kind of being a sore loser. And of course he choked in that series. Right here, does LeBron have the right to put this on social media? Yep, I'm not arguing against that. No, nope, I'm not arguing against that. Nope, he could do what he wants. Now, but it would have been one thing if, if the Warriors came out against him and it was his longtime rivals. What did the Warriors ever do to him? Stole some of his spotlight. Yup, last year. Yup, you know I'm you know I'm right. When he should be right now, flying under the radar, which he is, no pressure on him for the first time in his career, trying to win an NBA championship with this Cavaliers team that I think right now has the best chance to win an NBA championship. They got the least pressure, no pressure on him, literally for the first time in LeBron's career and he's doing this. Really? He's always got to be in the spotlight. And now he's he's constantly taking shots and rubbing it in the Warriors face for doing what? For stealing some of his spotlight last year? For going 73 and 9 best regular season ever? It's you're having a unanimous MVP? He even came against Steph Curry being the unanimous MVP. That was ridiculous. Steph Curry had like the seventh highest PER in NBA history, NBA ABA history, be that. And then he averaged 30. He's obviously the unanimous MVP doing stuff we've never seen before. But no, if you take the spotlight, uh, spotlight away from LeBron, he doesn't like that. He's the best player in the world. Keep letting his play do the talking. If he wants to, if, hey, if he wants to really get back at the Warriors for some reason, for something they didn't even do to him besides take some of his spotlight, then go win another championship this year, which I think he has a very high probability of doing. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, I know this was controversial, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like this video, share this video, more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3 out.